Hi guys and salam alaikum and welcome to Flash in a Pan. Look at those beauties. It's minced meat wrapped in aubergine and I'm going to show you how to make it. Assalamu alaikum everybody and welcome to Flash in a Pan. Today we're going to make aubergine wraps and basically minced meat wrapped in aubergines and it's going to be absolutely delicious inshallah. So let's start. First we need the aubergines. They're nice and washed and ready. I'm gonna take a nice big one because it's important to have a nice wide aubergine. So we have you know, there'll be enough space to wrap the minced meat with it. So you're going to slice it just like that. Keep it a whole. Quite common in, um, in Iraq, this dish. We use quite a lot of aubergine. Okay, so now we have them all nice and sliced and ready. Get rid of the rubbish. There we go. And make sure to put the hop on because we're going to fry them. Okay, there we go, it's on now. Gonna put it on like slightly high heat. And aubergine loves oil, so we'd have to unfortunately put quite a lot of oil in this frying pan. Fill it with oil because it, it will drink it, it will just soak it up like a sponge. Just leave it for a second there to heat up a bit. In the meanwhile, I'm going to get a bowl to prepare the kofta. And the bowl is actually right there in my magic place. Ta-da! Let's get the mincemeat. There we are, that's the mincemeat. We also need a little bit of parsley. And some garlic which is right here. So, still heating up a bit. I'm gonna leave it on. So I like it, because I think the hotter the oil is, the less oil the aubergine will soak in. And we just want it really to, to brown up a bit. We don't want it there you go, get the garlic crusher, my favorite. Put one at a time, there, and the second. That's just ingenious, look at it. Okay, fine, just leave it on. Get everything out not wasting anything in there. There we go, put that aside. Let's have a look at the oil and see if it's actually done. And I'm going to start frying them. Ooh, can you hear that? When you hear it sizzling like that. See, when I hear this, I just think of good food. Gonna squeeze in another. So I've got like four of them now. Nice to have a nice big frying pan to cook as many as possible all at one go, not to have to wait too long. So I'm gonna take some of that minced meat and put it here with the. See, I'm using my hand because I'm going to knead it with my hand. I'm gonna make the kofta with my hand. So you need to feel comfortable doing that. So that's enough. I'm going to have a little bit of that parsley. It could be parsley or coriander, it doesn't matter. And chop it as fine as you can. If you have a blender, you can do it in a blender. Then you get, you get it really fine and it's easier to mix with the mince. So I'm just gonna chop it quickly here by hand. My nice big sharp knife. There we go. We're going to add that into the bowl. 
all of it. Clean up a bit, put these things aside. And the spices. So, some curry powder. Just like half a teaspoon, depends on the con like on the on the amount of mincemeat that you're using. Here I'm using about a quarter of a kilo. So for that I'm putting a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of curry powder and paprika. Look at the colour of that. I just love it. Spices are just amusing. I don't know who or who or how they came up with these things to use spices in food, but that was just brilliant. And then some cumin, just a tiny bit. A mini, 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 tiny bit of um, turmeric. I'm putting it in the lid first because I don't want to drop the whole thing. And coriander powder, which is my favourite. There. So I'm going to put a tiny bit, something like that. There we go, and salt. There we go. I'm just going to put a little bit. Let's have a look at the aubergine see before it burns. So, yeah, perfect. I want it a bit browned. And it's done just that. Perfect colour. Let me show you. That lovely brown colour. That is going to look lovely on the plate. So here we go. We leave it on the other side as well to cook a bit. Put these things here and let's continue doing our kofta. So, let's clean up and work this with our hand, just like that. Make sure that all the spices are mixed up well. So here we are, I think it looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to take a handful of it, just like, like that maybe and I'm going to roll it like a finger sounds scary taking a bit off just like this and make a few of them do we gonna fry them you can fry them or you can put them in the oven it's up to you I'm going to fry them today make another knead it in the hand a little bit before rolling it to keep it consistent and also make sure it doesn't break. You don't want it to break. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. There we go. Ooh, look at this. Look at the colour. Perfect. I'm happy. We're going to be using the same pan again. So maybe I should actually keep it on. I'm going to put it on low heat for now. Keep it on low heat because we're going to be using it. Actually, for the kofta, we need to fry these koftas. Those fingers, the five fingers. There. Medium heat not too high and not too low because we want it to cook but without burning it we want the inside to cook so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cover it with the lid so the lid here we are nice i'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna make the sauce so uh tomato paste it smells like tomatoes i uh, don't have any okay so we get a spoon, about, let's say, a tablespoon, put it in the frying pan, a nice big tablespoon. Okay, and I'm going to fry it. I always like to fry the tomato paste before I add any water. There, on high heat. 
to be quick and add a bit of oil. Wait for it to heat up a bit and then start mixing this tomato sauce or tomato paste. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some spices with it too. So I'm gonna get the similar spices to the ones that I used in the kofta to keep that same flavor. So it was uh, curry powder, cumin, paprika, that's what it's called, and turmeric and some coriander powder. So a little bit of each. Here we go. A bit of that. A bit of the cumin. Paprika. The turmeric, which I have to put here in case too much goes in. Just a tiny bit. There. And the coriander powder. Not afraid of the coriander powder. So put everything back, nice and neat. There we go. I'm going to also add some garlic powder, not to forget it. There. Where's the salt? There's the salt. There we go, gonna mix that together. Fry it together. Let me show you how it looks before you add the tomato sauce. I'm going to be adding crushed tomatoes to it to make the sauce. So this is like the tomato paste is just to make it richer and redder. And I can smell the flavors coming out. Frying it together with the tomato puree. Okay, and now I'm going to put the tomato the chopped tomatoes and it's right here there we go I just um, beat it a bit before I'm going to to add it because I like it to be a little bit smooth I don't like it when it's too chunky when when I have too many too many like chunky tomato pieces in the sauce or you can just blend it put it in the blender and give it a whiz or two so There we are. Mix it up. It looks lovely. Exactly the color I want. Dark, orangey, red. Perfect. It's like terracotta kind of color. So now I'm gonna leave it to cook to boil a bit on a slightly lower heat and I'm going to use that lid, put it there and I'm going to turn those over to brown them from the other side as well. They look perfect. I'm going to increase the heat a bit because now they look done I can just brown them up a bit more. You can hear them rumbling. There, wait for it to brown up a bit. And we're gonna wrap them soon in that lovely aubergine. And we're gonna pour the tomato sauce on top and it's going to look delicious. So I'm going to bring them over. Just put them here quickly. Made it quite a mess there on the table. Make sure that is on a low heat. Don't want the water to evaporate too much from that tomato sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of those. And don't worry that it's been on this um, um, chopping board that had the meat in it because I'm gonna be putting it back in the uh, frying pan again, just for a tiny bit. And I'm gonna take those little lovely beauties and put them in here, just a tiny bit. Just 
like that. Put them together and I'm going to take this one, mix it up a bit. Mm, smells great and then pour it around just like that. Look at this. Lovely, isn't it? Looks beautiful. I'm going to cover it up just a tiny bit because I like the whole dish to, you know, to be cooked together a bit before we put it on the plate and serve it. There we go, just on a low heat. Let it soak in a bit and then we're going to serve it very soon. And get our dish ready to be eaten. So here we are. Look at this. Mmm, look at that. Ooh, that looks good. Gently, without messing up the rolls. Let's get that one from this side. There we go. And we're going to add the sauce around it. Like this. Lovely red color and the flavors. I can smell it right now. It smells absolutely delicious. A bit more sauce and voila. Lovely. So let's add some parsley just there for the nice final touch. Chop. On the side. And there we go. Lovely aubergine rolls in kofta.